Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Android Studio on your Mac operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can install it. So first of all, before installing Android Studio, make sure that Java is installed on your system. If you don't know how to install Java, I will put a link in the description and then just follow that link and then first of all install Java and then come to this video. So once Java is installed on your system, just open your favorite browser and search for install Android Studio. And the first link which will appear here will be from developer.android.com forward slash studio forward slash install. So I'm going to click that link and in here you will be able to see first of all make sure that Mac is selected here if it's not by default selected and then just click this uh, link which says download Android Studio. Now when you click that link you will be redirected to this page from where you can download Android Studio. So you just need to click this uh, green button which says download Android Studio and then you just need to read these terms and conditions and then if you agree with those terms and conditions just uh, check this checkbox and then click this button which says download Android Studio for Mac which is going to start downloading this DMG file which is about 848 megabyte so it will take some time to download so just wait for the download to complete and once it's completed we are going to see how we can install it and create our first Android app. Now this DMG file is downloaded on my Mac operating system. This file name is Android minus Studio minus IDE and whatever the version is minus Mac dot DMG file. So I'm going to double click on this which is going to open this DMG file. And once this DMG file is open, let me just minimize this uh, window. We just simply need to drag this Android Studio icon to our applications folders. So just drag and drop it to our applications folder which is going to copy all the files which is required for the Android Studio to work into our applications folder. So once the copying is finished you will be able to see this Android Studio icon in your applications folder. Also when you open the launch pad you will see this Android Studio icon in the launch pad icons also. So what I need to do now is I just need to simply uh, double click on this Android Studio icon in your applications folder or you can just double click from your launch pad also this icon which is going to open the Android Studio on our Mac operating system. So I'm going to minimize this window and I'm going to just close this window because I don't need it and I will wait for the Android Studio to open. Now first of all when Android Studio opens it will give you this kind of warning which says Android Studio is an application downloaded from internet. Are you sure you want to open it? So we will say yes we are sure and we want to open it so just click on the open button which is going to open our Android Studio and now you will see this kind of uh, window which says custom installation custom location config folder or installation home of previous version so we don't have any previous version of uh, our uh, android studio so we will just uh, leave this as checked which is do not import settings and then we will just click ok and this is now is going to start android studio on our mac operating system so now in the next step you are going to see this kind of uh, window which says android studio setup wizard so here we just need to click next and then we will just do the custom install instead of the standard install. So in the standard install here it's written that Android Studio will be installed with most common settings and options recommended for most users. And in the custom install we will be able to customize this so we will be able to see all the you know options which are configurable so we will choose the custom option for now. And I'm going to click next. So first of all, what the UI theme. So whatever UI theme you want to have, you can choose that theme. One is Darkula, which is the dark theme. Other is the default theme. I'm going to choose the default theme and click next. And in here, whatever component you want to install for your Android Studio. So what we want is we want uh, everything here. We want the performance Intel. HAXM which is the emulator and we also want the virtual device. 
so all the check boxes i'm going to check and the sdk will be installed in my library android forward slash sdk so i'm good with this so i'm going to click next and it says it's going to require this much amount of uh, memory which is okay for me so i'm going to click next and here is the list of all the things which will be installed on your system and it will take around 1.68 gigabyte of space on your hard disk so it's okay for me so i'm going to just click finish which is going to start downloading and then installing all these uh, custom settings on my mac operating system so i'm going to wait for everything to complete now here i'm asked to give my max password to install hxm installation and uh, i'm going to give my max password and i'm going to click ok which is going to continue the download and installation process so now the downloading of all the components are finished and i can see this finish button which is enabled now so i'm going to click this finish button and now you can see the welcome window for the android studio so now the android studio has been started so let's create our first android app using this android studio ide so to create a android app we will just uh, click on this uh, button or link which says start a new android studio project and then we will see this kind of window so the first thing here is we need to give our application name let's say our application name is my application i have just removed the space between my and application and then the company domain name if you don't have any company domain name you can leave everything as default so this code bind is my uh, max username that's why here uh, codebind.example.com is written okay so whatever your username will be there that will be uh, written here then dot example.com and this will be the default location where your android studio will be saved so if you don't have the good reason to change it just leave it as uh, it is and i'm going to just click next and this is where you select the form factor and minimum sdk so right now the most rated latest version for this android studio is uh, api 15 android 4.0.3 so i'm going to just leave it as default and we are creating this app for mobile or tablet so this option is good for us so we don't need to check any other option we just need to check the first option and then we are going to click next and here we need to just choose what type of activity we want in our application so for now we want the empty activity so we'll just leave it as default which is empty activity and then click next and on the next window you will see create a new empty activity activity name will be by default main activity so if you don't have the good reason to change it let just leave it as default and i'm going to click next and then this is going to just install some of the required component and when this process is finished you will see done here and then you will be able to click the finish button so i'm going to click the finish button and now android studio will create a project for us so now our android studio has been started and you will see this kind of uh, tip for welcome to android studio 3.1 first of all so i'm going to close this tip and then i'm going to go to my activity underscore main dot xml file which is the graphical overview of your app but uh, you can see here we cannot see the designer because it says design editor is unavailable until a successful build so first of all we need to build our app so we will build our app by just clicking this hammer button so just click on this hammer button which is going to start building your project so now my build is successful every uh, thing is green here you can see and now i will go to the sync tab here so this is the build tab so now i will go to the sync tab where the failure was coming where it says sync failed 
so now what i will do is i'm going to just uh, just try again so i'm going to just click on this button which says try again which is going to start syncing the build and now once the sync is complete you can see everything is green here so once the sync is complete i will be able to see this kind of window here right so what i need to do here is i just need to run this app i don't want to add anything to this app just want to test it so what i will do now is i will just press this green button this is a triangle green button to run the app so i'm going to just click it which is going to start our abd and you can see the default device is Nexus 5X API 27. So I will just choose this device and then I will just click OK. Just going to once again build our app for this device. And now you can see my Android emulator has also been started. And you can see uh, our emulator is starting slowly. So now you can see my app has been started and on the emulator I can see hello world and the title of my application which is my application so this is how you can download and install android studio on your mac operating system and this is how you can run your first hello world android application so i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now